Namir, you never did tell me why Freya spit. In your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present suck. Circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm, precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish the little lad. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. <laughs> This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. Ahem. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, 
for the sun too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Having to ran off into the night, feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Darn. That didn't seem to do anything. Oh, oh neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Up ahead! Focus up, boy!
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go.
Let's get started then. Keeper. carrying those. Oh! Whew. I'm feeling less cluttered already. Oh! How about you, young one? And back to you? Happy to provide. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Boy, Carmel really liked jewelry, didn't he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. 
You know, for a snow-covered corpse. into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war, so many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, man. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. <laughs> but Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Another crystal. Just give the word. Huh. What now?
We got most of it. Well, a stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh, I get it now. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Quiet head. Stop! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. Oh no! The floor collapsed. There's a sand bowl, but how do we get to it? Not. Here. Boy. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter! Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! Write it. Vetter. Vauer. Sumar. Haust. It didn't work. 
but I know- Try that. Vetter. Var. Sumar. Haust. It didn't work, but I know that's the order in the song, Mom said. Write it. House. Come on. Far. Vector. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thor. We're rising! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thor. 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 Head. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to. Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the boat! to writing before the floor collapses.
jump! You did well. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But... Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. You know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel did. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. The sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. Guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Seems to be okay. I'll never even see him. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Really livened up the place. Yes. You just can't help but break things, can you? If memory serves. The Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
That takes care of that. yourself Lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Oh, very well. It's a business. Master Atreus, how may I say? And back to you. Also, remember to breathe. For you? Something else for you then. So wash your hands. Will you focus on your damn job and quit that shit? You quit that shit. I mean it. He went to war with Uncle and walked away. Maybe. Uncle had three straight years. As long as Father believes <laughs> him, so do I. So you will stop talking, focus, and help me fight them. Ooh, can't disappoint Father. Oh, no, we cannot disappoint father. Now keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, Don't tell me! I can't remember the last time. Oh. 
Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? What does Odin want? Oh no, don't care. Come here, half breed. You done know Odin got his hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Oh, more than happy to teach
the last of him. I'll kill you! The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. Where do you go, lad? <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. In his father's store. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? Well, if you don't need it, don't buy it. 
I always say. Oh, what? Nothing? Oh, okay. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. If so, then keep up. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Look, back near the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. It's moving. <coughs> an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit. On the other side. Oh. I think that did it. Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? That you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? 
Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his place, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We've got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Mimir, you were in the middle of a story before. So, how did this advisor of Odin's try to end the long war? He set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. Did you see something out there? That tower! I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. Ooh! Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, <laughs> I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Jorgun, one of Odin's great loves. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like... Rain? You ruined everything! I earned that fucking... 
fucking hammer. But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Because Magni's gone. Be a joke! But if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Is that your father's tune? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! You don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Stop it! Whoops! Mostly got broken! <laughs> To get into Freya quickly. There's no other way. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's hard. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. called the serpent. Hotter. 
He is shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Urgent. I'm still a god. Go away. The boy has fallen ill. Freya! He's ill. Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm -hmm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Deep of the past, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Uh. Boy. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me...
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be... a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. Never seen the like. That's got to be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well, we all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. What I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you.
Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Odin can survive this cold. So, I hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the Realm Travel Bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Dam. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. We'll just follow this bridge. Should lead us straight to him. You know, I'd really hope never to see this place again. Use the fire of your blades to burn away that Hell's Bramble blocking the path. We went back for those blades. should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, Hell is overwhelmed. Locked. Now what?
When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. Midgard. I don't expect it will, though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? <laughs> the Bridge of the Damned. There's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right?
the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? Is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Psst. Yeah. Shh. I ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on! Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You, you don't suppose he'd nick those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glow you get here with your blades and throw!
Now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the door there. See it? Just let her loose. of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leader. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then.
Behind you! Get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. But it's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. You must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. Can you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. 
Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it, then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. What's the matter? Try out that shortcut between realms. Might be some kings to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not.
prayer. I will not forget this. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out? Sorry. Guess we're going. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth. The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? I think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. Over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? 
You sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're gone. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods? Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. <laughs> and he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, <laughs> Tyr was open and sharing with his God and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. <laughs> Tyr. Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets from Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to him, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this Black Root head? No, I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Didn't think it would be that easy. 
No. I'm just kind of hoping, though. So what now? What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. You know, for someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Aye. Thanks to Odin, with good reason. Brother, a trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to hell, I did your cure. Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new ship, though, with a little help from me. Ross was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. That's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Too small for father, though. No, that will be fine.
we'll add some friendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to bring you back into the cutting too. Boy. What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that. Be ready! in that vault that set you off. It is not important. It's even important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash father. Ah! 
We can't leave here without the black room. Come on. We can do this. Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the winds. Follow me, Atreus. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. 
More small passages. Hello. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. I thought those saws were scary. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Ever.
The rune stuff. It's lower. Ah. What's going on? Trap. Father! Boy, get out of here. I'm fine. How do we get you out? Gold chains on the wall. But there are three of them. What do I do? Atreus, focus. You can do this. Please hurry. I don't know yet if I can drown. Okay, sick. Hati's the silver one. He hunts them. Skulls go and he chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? Left boy! something. saved you. That was cunning, boy.
Let's go see what Tear's got for us. No, Ray's protection is. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. Match for us gods. I have beaten bigger. <laughs> Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sand bowl back up?
Yurith. We're so close to the end. Sit. Limnian wine. The island of Lemnos. Near the place of my birth. Journey's end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Ah. Uh -huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on! I don't think we should disturb Jormungandr without some reason. There's really no call for that at this point. I'm a god. I would like to see the look on his face. No. I may have kept your secret too long. But now you will keep our secret. Huh. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tia kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the... So what? Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? 
makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... All right. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear then. I guess I can muster the energy. It's almost like having a thick skin. for you then? Did you want to say something? No. to load off your mind.
to question Sindri's skill. Maybe Brock was right all along. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course. But it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. You should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. The truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I question that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Figure yourself. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
whole long that we are gone. Why come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Jotunheim before we get there or whatever? Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes oh. are... Enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. Whatever. gods that's who's evil and you know what odin's right we are a threat because we know what they are and we know we can beat them well not all of them not yet mac he did his worst and he's dead they're no better than us and they're gonna be sorry they picked this fight Thor, blame me, me, for what you did to Magni. My own father called me a coward. Looks like he did more than that. Move it, or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. should pay for what he said about mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. <clears throat> You killed against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence.
buddy. cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. about you, boy. If Modi found us, Balder cannot be far. Good. I have a few words for him, too. No, you do not. You will leave him to me. So you can kill him. 
Because that's what we do to our enemies, right? Because he'd do the same to us. I will do only what is necessary. And I'll help. No. No! Oh. take the card on. The next platform broke when we fought the dragon. Did you already forget? Are you talking to me? Thought you didn't like my tongue. Subjects for discussion. Do not push me, boy. Fine. Come here. Guess what? I know everything I need to know now. I have nothing else to learn. Ah, oh, congratulations.
Boy. Whatever. Guess I'll stop what I'm busy with now. It's almost like having a thick skin. rare and much sought after abilities.
Come on, you two. The silence is getting unnerving. Don't worry about it. We're focusing. Nearly there now. Finally. Boy, the room. Well, that's a sight no man should ever see. Thanks for that. along that. We made it. Beautiful, isn't it? Why I remember once. Brother, look out! <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> Instead, I'll do whatever you oh, shut up. All uh, this time, I thought uh, I needed you. Uh, but you're just me. Uh, uh, Turns out the boy is the brains. No! You broke the gate! That was the only way to your nine! Oh, stupid son of a bitch! Get out of here, boy. Yes, by all means, Junior, run away. Let Daddy do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> ah! Let go! Calm 
down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am oh. ready. <laughs> and here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus! Give up! Come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over. Is it? So be it. No! Listen to me! Go of it now, or I will kill them. You know I will. What did you do?
not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Wow, it's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple, but at least it gets us far from here. In a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. that not just the old and sick come to Helheim so do the criminals hell must not draw a distinction between us and those whom these visions are meant to torture how do we stop it escape hell as soon as possible I'm not gonna let it bother me. like you said Namir it was just an illusion I wasn't no but it is who you have become of late Look, I know I got to I'll get us out whoever I am I will get us out. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. I don't mean to hurry you, but faster? Let me think. Both game traps need to be filled?
Balder up ahead. No. No, I would never stay out of sight. Listen. You, you had no right. I had every right. I am your mother. You had no right, Rich. I can't taste. I can't smell. I can't even feel the temperature of this, this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. God to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die than never feel again? Yes. Yes. I would rather die. Yes. Take it away, Mom. I can't. Please. Please. Please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Son. Trust me in time. You will thank me. his mother. Why did you keep this from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you I have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Soon. Who's that? 
We must hurry. Uh, not entirely sure this is seaworthy. She will do. Can this thing even sail covered in all this bramble? Give me space to work. You have done enough. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanir built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Skisplothnir? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. We may do it. Perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. What now? Trying not to be impatient. Let your father think. Give me a father room. So now the sales are loose? Just watch. I'm pulling the sails. 
sails down? But how are they gonna catch the wind? We're floating! The heat from the fires! We're actually floating! Not for long. Stay with the boat. I can't believe it. We just met a huge sky lantern. And I did it! We're loose! Wait for me there! to talk brother you do realize it's over don't you even if we make it back to midgard you and Balder destroyed the only gate to jotunheim we are out of options and that boy up there he's in nine kinds of pain his head's turned so far around atreus he... is not your concern well he might become everyone's concern if you don't do something you don't have to be the smartest man in the world to see that Atreus. I can help? Together now. Time to end this! Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. Hold on! Behind you, brother! 
How long before we reach the temple? Yeah, it's freezing. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad.
to lose that harpoon. This realm now as long as we didn't wreck our way back this is odin's i'd recognize his atrocious tape look at that it's the missing panel about here a stone. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look clearly that tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace, unity, hope, other things too. 
Tears own design. He made this door himself. Get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Tell us Balder is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Fred, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what has happened? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Boulder's weakness. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. How and weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth. Is that... Where did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. There. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. you grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, the price of the reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. Oh. 
Come on in, then. So much for peace and quiet. Say the word, kid. You think what you want? Now go send them all to hell. Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along.
figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. We can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. So you were saying Thor is half god and half giant? That's so weird. Aye, but Odin and Fjordun's love was true. Once Fjordun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanya raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I could scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Well, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counsellor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. Well, I can just tell you the story later. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside! But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Save magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Udenheim door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. One inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Art. Whatever it here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy, this is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. Upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay.
Watch moving. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the tempo. All right! Do you what now? If you mean to break those chains, I'm afraid you'll need to go see to it personally. Sure, what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms? I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your night. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. the death traps. I had a thought, brother. Why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this? No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Time to do what you do, brother.
two make quite a formidable duo.
an army of statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life, if that's what you're worried about. Tyr often said that in the world of PC envisioned, the only soldiers he'd need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the Bucker did take himself rather seriously, didn't he? Ah, it's the other kind. Variety is so important. Go! I truly do hate this part. I know.
were so close. I, for one, never doubted. Right. Another piece of the language cipher. Good. Time to flip the temple. Yes, sir. What? Just agree to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. Brothers, I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach. But the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tears path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. <laughs> Sir, I'll be quite happy to be on your side, brother. And we're not dead. That. See that, Mimir? 
Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles, they're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue, me and father, you and Freya, Brock and Sindri, but when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodin. Do you hear that? The lad found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great are Dumbler's others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how he must never stray from the path. Well... Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world. <laughs> That's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Maybe next time. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? This is where two step beyond. And the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, this is it, lads. It's been an honor. Our faith, Head. This is incredible!
can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Oh, no, this is considerably worse. <laughs> In hell? Oh dear, here they come.
for that. Where are we? There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belonged! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giants secretly possess some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read. I don't think we should disturb Yomangandar without some reason. Sure love to make a racket, don't you? Now you're talking. Something on your mind, boy? You keep 
I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. We've got eyes like him, Amir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lad. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. Any of a hundred places, I'm a... So far, there has to be a way. Look, bit of a long shot. For years, I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin. Sorry, will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. But now would be a good time to make sure your gear is ready for the work.